on how to play Supernova by Ansel Elgort. We're in standard tuning. We got a capo on our first fret right here. We have the same chord progression throughout the entire song. It's an E minor, an A minor, a C, and a B. So there is this B bar chord. If you're a beginner, don't worry, I'll teach you how to play this um, as a beginner so you don't have to bar it, so you can still play this song. Um, if you already know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. If you don't, I'll be teaching you those chords here real quickly. So for our E minor, you're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the A, which is your second string down from the top string, and your ring finger is going to be on the second fret of the D, which is right under that middle finger on the A string. You can play all six strings for that. For your A minor, you're going to have your index finger on the first fret of the B string, which is the second string up from the lowest string down here. You're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, third string down, one, two, three, and then your ring finger is going to get tucked right under on the second fret of the G string. And we're only playing five strings on that chord. For a C chord, you're just going to take your ring finger from that A minor position and lift it up here to the third fret of the A string, and you can play five strings on that chord again. <clears throat> so those are our three open chords. For your bar chord on your B, you can bar your second fret with your index finger from the fifth string down, and then your ring finger you can bar the fourth fret of the D, G, and the B strings, and you want to mute that high E. Um, if you're advanced, you can play it that way, and if you're not advanced, you can put your index on the second fret of the A string, and then you can have your middle finger on the um, fourth fret of the D string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the G, and your pinky on the fourth fret of the B. It's the same chord, you're just playing it slightly differently, and if that's a stretch, go ahead and remove your middle finger here and just play these three notes. So now your ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D pinkies on the 4th fret of the G, and your index is still over here on the 2nd fret of the A. Okay, so that's how you can play that B chord. So now, the tricky part is the progression and the strumming. Alright, so as far as the progression, that sounds like this. So we're going from our E minor picking down through the notes and back up and then we're going to our A minor chord plucking several of these strings on that I'm picking the A, G, and the B then we're going to move to our C chord and individually pick the strings down and up and then we're going to go to our B chord and pick them all at the same time. So on your E minor, you're picking individually. A minor, you pl pluck together. C, we're picking individually. And then B, you pluck together. Okay, so on the E minor, I'm picking the E, A, D, G, B, G, D, G, I switch to this A minor and pick my A, B, and G strings simultaneously. I switch to my C chord, pick the A, D, G, B, E, back up, B, G, D, B, and I pick the A, G, and the B strings simultaneously again. Okay, so one more time. sounds like this at full speed. Okay, so that's it. Um, the picking is a little tricky, but if you just rewind and practice a couple times, it should be pretty straightforward. That's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. 
If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.